Brandon. Hey, Jordan Wright. We met last week. Hey, Jordan. Everyone's talking about you and your client. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Listen, I know you're busy, but could you give me some intel on how you feel he's doing? Still in the early phases of development. We just got to rewire his system a little bit so we can get the best performance out of him. I see. Anything that stands out the most? <sighs> Loves to compete. Loves it. He wants to win every drill, every time. Sounds about right. But I'm just fine-tuning a few things with him so he can get those results. Cool. Listen, do you have any more prospects here for me? Oh, um, right now, it's just him. He's the only one I rep, actually. Since he's also the only one that gave me a shot. But we're building something different here, and people are taking notice. It starts with one, and that's all it takes. Listen, I gotta head out to these warm-ups, but if you want to stop by the field later this week, let's talk more about your guy, yeah? I'll be there. Would love that. <laughs> Definitely. See you then. See ya. I'm ready to get myself back. Self. Hey, so listen. I know you got a lot to be looking at in here, but this has been more than a tour. Certain things have lined up, and I thought this would be the best place to let you know you just landed your first endorsement deal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Team Nike. These are your new Nikes. Hey. We designed these PE colorways with Whoa. the three teams that might draft you in mind. What? Hey. Are you for real? Oh, no hey. way! Let's go! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Jay! Thank you, thank you! You out here making these big moves for me. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a rare deal. Murray, Barkley, Burrow, and now you. Where do I sign? Okay, slow down. <laughs> we still gotta go over the numbers, but the deal is ours. They believe you're gonna be the leader of this year's rookie class. Huh. No pressure, huh? We got this. It comes with some benefits and opportunities. Yo, out of all the NFL players who've signed with Nike over the years, my boy's gonna be the first one with his own signature shoe. <laughs> hey, tell me I get to design it though. <laughs> what? You get your style from me anyways, man. You're welcome. Come on, I'll make it look dope. <laughs> How about we get Tinker instead? Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah, actually. <laughs> Jay, money. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you Congratulations. so much. Hey, we're just as excited. Yeah, this is incredible. Okay. Okay. Second week of training here at Nike is in the books and my man is putting in some extra work on his own because that is how you stay a household name. Speaking of which, since we got the exclusive invite to come out to Beaverton, we've been spending so much time on and off the field with NFL greats. We're talking pro bowlers, Hall of Famers, baby. Everything my man here is trying to become, and I gotta say, so far he's looking good, but I'm gonna go on record and say that he's lucky that I ain't out there. Ain't that right, Superstar? Why don't you come out here then? Nah, 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 nah. See, because what happens if I put this phone down, go to work on you, then there's no proof. And then you can just dismiss it like it never happened. Hey, man! <laughs> what you doing? Hey, why are you picking on me? Just some random guy. Why don't you go one on one versus NFL competition, huh? Because I'm sure there's a lot of guys out here who would love to go up against you. Say something. If you haven't heard the name Jordan Wright yet, believe me, you're about to be hearing it a whole lot real soon. She's one of the top young agents in the game, and we're actually live here at Nike headquarters. Jordan, what are we doing out here today? We're watching the soon-to-be number one pick get some work in. Oh, so you're calling it right now, huh? You think he's going first overall? That's a wrap? Of course. I mean, I can't name one player who has dominated the way he has. True, true. The hype has been building and building since high school, and every step of the way, he has lived up to it. I mean, everyone's still talking about the college football playoff, and that was a month ago. The eyes of the college football world have descended upon this grand palace, the Superdome in New Orleans. 
guests tonight. It's the second of our two semifinal matchups in the college football playoffs. As we'll see the Texas Longhorns taking on the Michigan State Spartans. Couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so he probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing now is Brady. He'll rifle this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, but I think it right out set the tone. This time, a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Now Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Young. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A well executed 22 yard gain. First down. First down. Now Brady. And that is caught. Touchdown, Michigan State. A nine-yard touchdown. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Well, that's something, Charles, that we have seen so much this year from him. A great throw there for the touchdown. And not only did we just see that throw, it makes you think back throughout the season. You talked about it. We've seen it throughout the year. The variety of throws we've seen from him. We've seen every arm angle, different platforms, on the move, in the pocket. Does he have to gun it? Does he loft it? He has all the throws in his arsenal. And he just exhibited one more there for another touchdown. Michigan State got the touchdown and now sets for the kickoff. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. They start the drive with Martin. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run supported. I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the 
turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now a play fake, Brady. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it online, but it comes up about a rotation short. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A play fake. Now Warner. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. A pickup of 27. And they pick up the first down in the process. Out of the gun, here's Warner. Over the middle complete. It's Brewer. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now a first down throw, Warner. Pressure applied and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Warner. Pressure coming, and they got him once again. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. So then now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. The 
winner goes on, the loser goes home as we start the second half of this semifinal matchup. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. The third quarter starts with a run by Martin. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. Again, it's Martin. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, when you pointed out to me at half, seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. That's taken it around the 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. now at the line ready for their next drive and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going so what needs to change and a lot of the guys will go back and review so to speak because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work okay what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game try and get back to some of those plays as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up we'll see if they take the advice of mr davis well that didn't take long one play and we're already looking at a first and goal situation brady Pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decided to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. On second and goal, here's the option. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Michigan State. From four yards out. And Michigan State adds on to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. Touchdown, the Spartans back out there to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Longhorns come up here to begin their next drive. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. We have played three quarters. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Just rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field, downfield. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Yeah. 
to throw. Warner. He finds his man complete. It's good. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Five yards on the play there. It's a drive will continue. It'll be Warner on first down. They set up the screen to Martin. No gain on the screen there at second down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now Warner. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. He's going to let it fly. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 40. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Set him back five. Brady going to look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Gun. They give to Freeman. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Michigan State punter out there now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. 41-yard punt there with no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. About set for their next drive, the Texas offense at the line. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive bats on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. That's to his running back complete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the other expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, yeah, exactly right. This is Freeman on first and 10. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Brent, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but hey, all they needed was... Uh, you can't score one point. All they needed was two. Uh, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three. They got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So led by a collective team effort, 